So I've been in this industry for 20, maybe 23 years in the fall. It's a long time. And ever since I started, just because I guess men are generally curious, I've been asked, are you ever gonna model nude? And I always said, no, never. I would never do that. I don't ever wanna be nude in front of the camera. I just wanna work behind the camera. And look, my preferences still are, I prefer to work behind the camera for sure. Now, if some of you don't know, a lot of you do, I did start an OnlyFans and I started modeling nude, but I waited till I was in my 40s, right? I'm 42 now. Okay, so like, why would I wait until I'm in my 40s to start modeling nude when I, you know, started in this industry in my 20s? Now, there's a few reasons for this. So first of all, honestly, at the beginning, I, I did think that I was never gonna end up doing nude modeling. I'm not like, crazy about modeling in front of the camera. I don't feel like that's where my strengths lie. I think my strengths lie being behind the camera. Some of it probably has to do with me being kind of a control freak and letting, letting to be able to really control the environment. And also too, I just really love shooting beautiful women. And um, I don't think I'm ugly, but I don't think that I'm like, this incredible specimen whose like naked body must be seen by everybody. Otherwise I'm, you know, denying you guys this like incredible opportunity to look at my body. It's like, it's okay, but it's not like I've, you know, Emily Bloom is like fan fucking tastic. Aria Giovanni is like fantastic. Angela White is fantastic. Um, Lena Lopez is fantastic. I don't really rate myself, myself in that area. So now there is a whole story about how my nudes did actually get leaked on my website. And these were news that I shot in my late 20s that I never really planned to publish, but they accidentally got published. I'll let you go back and watch the video, Holly Randall's leaked nudes in order to find out that story. Cause that's a whole other thing that I don't really want to get into. And a lot of you know the story. Most of you don't believe it, but whatever, I don't care. It's the truth. So after that happened, right, I was like, okay, well, my nudes are out there. Like I was getting a lot of like great feedback. Like maybe this is something that's, you know, not so bad. Maybe people do actually want to see me naked. Maybe it's okay for me to do a little bit of this. And um, I didn't shoot any more nudes for a while. And then I started kind of posting them to my private Snapchat, like every once in a while, kind of here and there. And, you know, it just did so incredibly well. And so I asked my husband, who was my boyfriend at the time, and I was like, hey, what do you think about me maybe doing like just some soft core nude stuff? Like my fans seem to really like it. Um, it seems to, you know, generating some pretty good revenue. And he was like, absolutely, I think you're gorgeous. Um, let's do it. And I was kind of doing like amateur nude stuff, like in my bathroom and stuff like that. And he actually said, he's like, let's give your fans something like, they can really look forward to. Let's stop shooting shitty nudes in your shitty bathroom. Let's rent a hotel. Let's get your hair and makeup done. Let's get you some nice laundry. And like, I'll shoot some pretty nudes of you. And I was like, oh my gosh, my man's on board. I'll do this. And so that's kind of how it started. And I started my OnlyFans and the reception was amazing. And people seemed to really like it. And, you know, honestly, for me, it was, it was great for a couple of reasons. Um, it, it kind of like really spiced up my sex life with my husband. Um, you know, I'm not, and this may seem crazy, but I'm not somebody who's like super sexy, I guess. Um, I don't really like dress up in lingerie for him. I don't like do strip teases for him. It's just not really who I am, right? And so when I was doing this, you know, in a production sense, because that's how I am, right? I'm like a businesswoman. So I'm like, okay, if I'm like doing this as a production for money, then like, you know, I'm gonna do it this way, the way that I know how to shoot other women, I'm gonna be that subject now. And so, you know, with that in mind, I, I did these like sexy strip teases and I found it was kind of fun and he was really into it because, you know, I'd never really been like that for him before. And so, you know, it was a turn on for him, it was a turn on for me. And so like it really kind of brought us closer together and um, really kind of spiced up my sex life. And then also it just kind of started to change the way that I looked at my body. I think that for a lot of women, especially like in the city in LA, we're so like image focused. And honestly in the industry that I work in, I'm very image focused in my industry. 
and you know, I shoot glamour content and you know, we really, I just shoot mostly like skinny, beautiful women, like kind of unrealistic beauty standards. I mean, that's, you know, why their job is in front of the camera because they don't look like the rest of us, right? And uh, I think that, you know, kind of fucked with my head too. I mean, I knew intellectually that, you know, beauty and being like skinny and all that wasn't, you know, that important in the long run, but like, I couldn't help but still feel like I should look that way. I, I should be that skinny. I should be, I should look a certain way. And so when I started my OnlyFans and like my fans were really receptive to how I looked then, it was just kind of amazing. It was amazing the feedback that I had. And it started to make me like really kind of love my body, just having this feedback from these guys, just like loving the way that I look naturally was, was amazing. And um, yeah, I really kind of credit it with it changing the way that I looked at myself. Um, my self-confidence has gone up and I'm really, really grateful for it. So thank you everybody who's joined my OnlyFans. And if you haven't yet, I don't know, maybe you should go check it out. There might be some naked pictures of me on there. I don't know. <laughs> Holly Randall Unfiltered is brought to you by Adam and Eve. Adam and Eve is like the biggest online sex toy retail store. And in fact, they don't just offer sex toys. They also have movies, they have lingerie. They basically have anything sexy that you could be looking for. Now they have an incredible offer. Get 50% off of any one item when you go to adamandeve.com. But that's not where it ends. So not only will you get 50% off any one item, they will also load up 10 free gifts for you on top of that. You will get six free movies, a free mystery pack that includes an item for him and a special toy for her and something we know you'll both enjoy, plus free shipping. Now that's a lot of free stuff, but you can only get this offer if you go to adamandeve.com and use my code HOLLY. That's adameve.com, use code HOLLY, for 50% off of any one item plus 10 free gifts. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss a single episode and go check out all the other videos. I film every single one of my podcasts. And if you want to listen to the audio version, I'm on iTunes and all the other podcast platforms. Visit hollyrandallunfiltered.com to find out more.